welcome to another video. So I have been dying to get this beautiful My Fair Lady Barbie doll out of her packaging. She is very hard to display. I mean, you don't really want to display her like this because you can't see everything. But then it's almost impossible to display her like this also, even though the packaging is so cool. I did a video on where I got these dolls, and um, if you wanted to watch that video, I will link it down in the description down below. But this is one of five Mar My Fair Lady dolls, and I have all five. Um, and this beautiful doll is wearing, I believe it says on the box anyway, is a reminder of the last scene, romantic scene, in the My Fair Lady movie. And, yes, I'm just trying to fill up my pink Barbie slash doll shelf with all my pink dolls. And she is one of them. And I'm really excited to finally get her out of the box. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you some clips or some scenes from the actual movie, which I think is really cool. You can read this if you want, just pause it, there's another picture there, and this is Audrey Hepburn, of course, I believe that's how you pronounce her, move, her name, and this is... She plays Eliza Doolittle. And then this is a whole long... I was going to read it for you, but I'm not too fond of my voice. So if you want to read it, maybe you can... Oops, just pause it and read it. There you go. I don't know, it's probably too blurry for you. And there's a lot. <laughs> there is a lot. Um, but yeah. Any messages? I don't know. I could read it while I am unboxing her. Unless, I don't know. But I just think she looks so great in the box. And it, it says $40 here. But I actually got all five dolls for $20 each. I paid $100 for all, the, all five dolls. Um, but yeah, let's just get her out of the box. And on the sides, you can see it has that picture. And the side is just plain. The top is plain. And the box, you can even see the original price. $109.99. And that was back in 1995. So almost 30 years ago. This doll was $110. That is nuts. That is nuts. That is quite nuts. And that is from a Canadian. It was from the Bay. They bought it. It's a Canadian store. I remember going there as a little girl. At Christmas time, they always had the most beautiful displays ever. So I'm excited to get her out of the box. Wow. Oh, a bunch of stuff came out. Ah, something, oh, there's her shoes. Okay, so her shoes came out. You can see, like, look at how yellowing the plastic is becoming. And, yeah, that's it. But here she is outside of the box. Oh, this is such a gorgeous background drop. Oh, I just, wow. 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 And she has, I don't know if you can see, but she has eyelashes. Real eyelashes. Well, maybe not real, but you know what I mean. She's got rooted eyelashes and her hat. Like, look at that. That is so detailed. Well, let's just see what 
I got left behind in the box. Probably more of those. Yep. The exact same thing that was in every other Barbie box back then. Another one of these register your doll type thing. <gasps> Ooh. And this is a certificate of authenticity for the My Fair Lady dolls. Oh, that is so cool. Wow, and it even has a picture of her way nicer than the new ones. And there's another two-year limited warranty, only in the USA. And then it also comes with like this cool little movie poster here too. I wonder if that is... Oh yeah, it's kind of taped in there. Oh, look at it. The tape is so old, it's just crunched. Oh, I'm going to get this out. Well, trying, and then this one has not only just these twist ties, but it also has thread and tape holding her in. Holy smokes. But I guess because she was an expensive doll and she's got a lot going on that they wanted to make sure she was secure and not gonna fall out. So, while I get all these unraveled, hopefully this video doesn't take too long. I am so excited for this doll. I'll have to show you some of the updates I did to my room as well. Not gonna lie, it's still a bit of a mess, but that's because I'm focusing mainly on getting caught up on my work so that I can actually just get rid of it all out of my room. As I've mentioned before in other videos, I do work out of my doll room. This is my home office as well as my doll room. So, yeah, it's getting a little bit busy. And I'm trying to craft as well. Which, if you're a crafter, then you know. It just gets to be way, way crowded and messy. Being a collector is already... Well, if you got a lot of stuff you gotta organize and put away, and then you add a home office and sewing and crafting on top of that, and yeah, well, you get the picture. <laughs> and I have shown my messy room in other videos, but it's clean and then it gets messy again. Clean and then messy. Because, again, I also, I, I can't really be in here every during the day because I have my little ones and they definitely cannot be in here. There's too many stuff for them to lose and break so occasionally I'll let them in here when it's clean and tidy and then under supervision but for the most part they are not allowed in here. Not because I didn't love them, but because they're just too little to understand. And these are my toys. Hmm. Not there. Oh, wow, that actually did not take as long as I thought it was going to take. But, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at her. How flowy this dress is. It's so beautiful. I cannot believe how beautiful this doll is. Yeah, wow. I'm gonna have to take the dress off. But oh, so the hat is only attached with a string, so I probably take the whole thing off. And look at that. But maybe I'll just leave it on for now. But I have no idea how. We're gonna take, oh, okay. So the front actually has a metal snap enclosure. 
then it has um, a similar string. So we're just going to carefully cut that. My, my, my. Wow. So, wow, look at that. This whole top piece is mostly just a really cute little... Well, this is going to be heck getting back on, but probably should have showed it to you on, um, but this is her with her, oh, oh my goodness, actually, <gasps> she is completely sewed in, there is like no way to take this dress off, there, unless I completely un, unsew it, ah. I guess they weren't expecting people to take them out of the boxes. Oh no. Well, that's no good. And she's got like this paper or tissue and tape wrapped around her feet. Oh no. And then they've got. Oops, what is that? That is the doll stand. But where is the rest of it? Oh, it's hiding. It is hiding. Okay, so I need to get this out of here, which is not going to be very easy because there's only this tiny little hole. How in the world do they expect? Very carefully, you have to kind of like just pull it through, but stick that one in and then pull it. Okay, so I got it out without creating any damage, but that she is basically in this dress for the long haul. Um, so I can't even take it off to show you, but it does have a tag in here. Oh, 1995 CBS Inc. All rights reserved. That's what's on the tag. And it's very, um, like that. I don't know what's going on there. I might have to... That's too bad. I really thought that I could take this dress off her. But, I mean, her legs are a touch sticky, which is okay. Um, but look at her face. She's very pretty. I have to maybe... She's got box hair for sure. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, this is really awful. This is sticking out on the bottom. I'm going to have to trim some of this off. Like, look at that. Look. Sorry, my battery is running low. I have to trim some of that. Well, I'm excited. I got two. I'm saving all my old dolls to open on camera because I figure there's so many mo or movies, videos on YouTube of all the newer dolls. And I haven't been buying too many newer dolls, but like all the Rainbow High and stuff. But anyway. I've just been opening that off camera because there's enough videos up there on those, but here she is, wow, and she's got little pink stud earrings, let's see if these come out, mm, it does not feel like they do, nope, mm, I don't want to break them, it looks like they're stuck in her head, but she is so beautiful. You know, it kind of looks like they did these, this side lashes a little too low because you can see more black liner on that side than you do on that side. But again, you can't really tell um, unless you are really looking at her. Let's, I can't even know where her, where the piece of her stand is. 
Unless this is like a straddle sand. Let's see. Oh, it is. Okay. So this is a straddle stand. And it has, it's like a kind of creamish pearlescent color. And it actually says Barbie as Eliza do little in My Fair Lady. I like that. I like how it actually tells you what it who she is. Oh, this tape is completely crunched on there. And it's left some residue. And it goes like that. So we'll stick her on here for now. But I also gotta get her um shoes open. Can you see her there? There she is. And this is still attached to the box. I have to somehow get that out. Oh, it's coming out. That came out really easy. Oh, I don't remember how that was. I'm going to have to <laughs> rewatch the video. This is why I like doing videos also on my dolls so that I can see what they look like. It's not just for you, well, it's for me too, so I can go back and rewatch them and see how the dolls were supposed to be originally in the box. Oh, my scissors roll. Because now I completely forgot how that was originally. Alright, here are her shoes. Oh, they are a very pretty pearlescent pink too. That very pretty pearlescent pink. And they have little bows. They kind of remind me of the Barbie movie Barbie doll shoes with the bows on them. That's very pretty. Okay, so I am pretty sure that's all I have to show you. She Oh, she does come with a ring, and her toes are not painted, and she has the basic five points of articulation, as all 90s Barbies had, and then she does have the bend and snap knees, and she's got the beautiful brown Audrey Hepburn colored hair there and yeah again this dress does not come up off it's completely sewn up in the back and let's just go over I've shown you the hat the doll her face I'm gonna do a close-up of her face right away but I do ah okay she doesn't want to there she goes this is her super freaking cute coat has the metal snap enclosure and yeah that's really neat it is so pretty it's all sheer material I forgot what this is called but yeah it's very pretty very very well made everything is hemmed even like every single piece of it is hemmed. That is really nice. Even the insides are hemmed. Look at that. That is so awesome. And there's multiple folds in the front. And again, a little rosette or a flower made from the same. I don't know. Is this Chanel or Chenille or however you call it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm not very good with my fabrics, but it's super cute and pink. And then this is what she, I guess, had around her neck. And again, this is very, the same material, but ruffled. It's super cute. And yeah, I'm gonna do a close up of her um, without the stuff on and then with it. But before that, let's try getting this out. Without ruining too much here. And that was actually really easy to get out. 
look at that you can even cut these little tabs off and maybe put this up on um, as like a movie post or somewhere that is so cool this is the original movie poster it looks like and then I just want to show you like how pretty his background is look at that see some plants and it looks like some flooring this must be I've never actually seen the movie My Fair Lady but it's really hard to find right now I've asked my mom to see if she has it because I know she has a lot of the older movies and then if she tells me she does I am definitely going to watch it so yeah let's flip this camera around and do a close up Okay, so here is her close-up without the, her outer, her little jacket and her ruffles. And there is her stand. Let's see, it says Barbie as Eliza Dulu, My Fair Lady. And these are her shoes. Very pretty. And let's just give her a close up to her face. Beautiful pink fuchsia lipstick. And her eyelashes. And her beautiful eyebrows. Her makeup is all perfection. Her earrings. And the I left the string in there because it's kind of holding up her hat a bit. And again, as you can see, it's completely sewn up in the back. There's no way of getting her out. And yeah, that's her dress. The material and everything is been excellently, and she does not have painted nails either. I think I said that already. But yeah, that is her without everything, and let's get everything on. And here she is all dressed back up with her over or little coat back on and her little, you know, scarf, shawl, whatever you want to call it. And the coat was actually much easier to put back on than I thought. I didn't even snag it or rip it or anything. As long as you're gentle putting it back on, it's actually quite easy. And yeah, that is her. So again, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love, appreciate you, and thank you so much for your support for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, and let me know what you thought of this gorgeous girl. Do you have any of these dolls? And if so, which ones do you have? And what do you think of this beautiful, pretty, and pink one? Bye.